everyone, we're back in London again today and we're going to be checking out this super cool neighborhood called Shoreditch. Just outside the Old Street tube station is this coffee shop, Shoreditch Grind, and that's our first stop of the day. How's the coffee? Yeah, it's alright. I got some filter coffee. It feels like fall weather right now. It's nice. We just got done with coffee at Shoreditch Grind. The area that we're currently in is Old Street and it's around a five minute walk to Shoreditch High Street and that's exactly where we're headed to. I feel like of all the cities that we've traveled to so far, London by far has the best street art. We're just walking along a normal pavement and the street art is mind blowing. The closer and closer we get to Shoreditch High Street, the artwork keeps getting better and better and I think we might have spotted the fanciest building yet. So now we're at Box Park and Box Park is basically a bunch of retail shops, food stores, all built inside of shipping containers. So I believe that this Box Park was the first in the world to have shopping outlets made out of containers. Right outside of the box park, we just stumbled upon something. We have no idea what's going on, but it looks pretty cool. So welcome to Etsy. This is basically our new range, which is called Live Your Color. Okay. So we've got 10 different shades there, and I want you to go in there and completely express yourself, yeah? Okay. So you're gonna grab the paint, you're gonna flick it around, and just really show you, okay? Okay, okay I'm gonna go live my color experience. So I need Sorry. to get a suit and some boots, and then I can go inside and paint. Ready? I'm ready to live my color. What do you think my color is? Black. That was a lot of fun. I don't think I got too much paint on me, just on my hands a little bit. They also gave me some free nail polish, so pretty cool experience. Had no idea this was gonna happen today, but hey! After making our way very slowly through Shoreditch, I think we're gonna go get something to eat. Holly's found this bagel place. All right, so Bagel Bake is a 24 hour operation. They serve some of the city's best bagels and we're gonna try the salt beef one. Can I go the line? Yeah, the line's pretty long, but from what I've read, it moves pretty fast and it's worth the wait. So we're gonna do it. So here is our salt beef bagel. It has pickles and mustard salt beef and the bagel. Gonna rearrange the pickles. Try to get a bite with everything. It's gonna be kind of tough. Bagel's really good. The mustard, nice little flavor. I like it with the pickles and the salt beef. Don't even know how to bite it. I quite like salt beef sandwiches. One of my favorite places to go for a salt beef sandwich is Selfridges. The beef is very, very, very soft. Really good. So a single sandwich is around £5.70, which, considering its size, is actually not a bad price for London. Overall, how was it? Oh, delicious. Like worth the a wait? 9 out of 10. Yeah, definitely worth the wait. Highly recommend Bagel Bake on Brick Lane Road. Now we're going to check out the rest of Brick Lane and see what it's all about. Brick Lane is really famous for having really good Indian food, but they also have a market which you can see is all around us. And again, just like Camden Market, it sells clothes, jewelry, all sorts of uh, different stuff, so it's pretty cool. This is a pretty cool market. They have all kinds of vintage things. It's really busy. I think it happens maybe just on the weekends or maybe just on Sundays. Right at the end of the vintage market, if you keep walking down Brick Lane, then you'll start to see the food stalls. At the Brick Lane Food Street, you can get all sorts of food from Mexican to Indian to even Venezuelan. It's a pretty cool place to try out different types of cuisine. After the Truman Brewery, the market stalls are replaced with Indian restaurants and if you're interested in Indian food, I reckon Brick Lane is one of the best places to come. Right, we've taken a right off Brick Lane and we are in front of Spitfield Markets. 
Looks to be pretty cool. Let's check it out. This market is just a bit more classier, a bit more legit than the street market outside. Yeah, it feels like a shopping mall. They do have a bit of a market feel going on on the inside, but the yeah. outside area is stores that are always here. Today is the Women's World Cup final, and we have been trying to find the perfect pub to go to watch it. We found a seat in a place where we can watch the game and where Chloe is allowed. So it's England versus Germany, and the final is actually happening in London, so you've got to support the home crowd. Nearly 5 o'clock, the game is about to start. England's just about to sing the national anthem. Come on, you lionesses. My prediction? 3 2 England. Germany was dominating, but England caught them on the counter, and now it's 1 0 to England. So the game is finished, it's gonna go into extra time now. Feeling kind of pessimistic now. A minute ago, I was so depressed. I was like, England's gone, all hope is lost. There's nine more minutes, so you never know what's gonna go on. Right now, England's gonna win the World Cup. England won! <laughs> well, England won, so it's a happy day. Finally. <laughs> It feels so good that finally England won an international competition. Yeah, I've been on the other side of it a couple of times and it's not a good feeling, but tonight I'm going to celebrate and I feel like we're going to head back to Brick Lane and get some curry. For food, we've come to Aladdin. This was one of the most highly rated restaurants on Brick Lane, so we decided to give it a go. Okay, our food just came. It's very chicken intensive. I got chicken curry, which is chicken curry cooked with peppers and tomatoes and onions. And Holly got chicken tikka, which is barbecue chicken with onions and peppers. Alright, we just finished our food at Aladdin's. It was absolutely delicious. It was so good that we didn't actually get any footage of us eating. Overall, today was an absolutely wonderful day. England won the World Cup, so it's all good. <laughs>